Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day one. Today, we're going to do one more setup video focused on three very important profiles that I want to make sure that you are aware of and have reviewed for accuracy and completeness. So, depending on how you are onboarded at your market center. These may be completely filled out, partially filled out, not quite filled out. So just wanna make sure you all know where these three profiles are and have access to them and get them filled out. So we're gonna start off with our marketing profile. Um, inside of your command home screen, you're gonna see at the top right-hand corner here, this should be your name, um, potentially your headshot, depending on what you've already updated. Um, we're going to click on this drop down. You'll see us come to this drop down occasionally throughout the challenge. The first thing we're going to want to do is come into our settings menu. So we're going to click on settings and we're going to get several options on the screen with several drop downs on the left hand side. So you can see we've got general, command, connect. Uh, you may or may not have global or command MC settings. Obviously, I'm in a leadership account, so we have these settings. Uh, but most likely you just have the top three or four. We're gonna go into connect settings and select marketing profile. What this is going to do is allow us to fill out more information about how we are seen throughout our Keller Williams technology. And so that's both internally and externally, um, has a lot of impact on things like your newsletters, your websites, things like that. So really important to come through the first thing is to make sure once you have completed all this information that this toggle has been turned on, that you do want your branding on your agent site. Uh, it's maybe by default turned off until you've got everything filled out, depending again on how you're onboarded, you may actually see this turned on. Uh, we do want it to be green like this, right? Such that your agent site actually does have your branding on it. I'm gonna leave it off for right now. Um, from here, we want to upload your headshot. You can see there's some recommended sizes and formats there. So JPEG, uh, JPEG or PNG, 360 by 360. Uh, if you have a team, you can upload a team logo. If you do not, I highly recommend don't touch this area. Just leave it alone until you have a team or form a team. No need to fill anything in for the team logo. From there, you're gonna start filling in all of your personal details. So first, last, uh, you can see some of these are required, the ones with asterisks. The rest are not, but you can decide what you wanna fill in in each of those. We do have some military affiliations, which I think is pretty cool. So you can go through and choose whether you're active duty, reserves, veteran, a military spouse, a gold star family, military family member, national guard, supporter, or patriot. Um, as an example, my twin brother is a uh, retired unit, uh, U.S. Air Force Colonel. So I would come in here and choose United States Air Force and I could click on add and that would then be added to my affiliations. You can see a bio is required. So make sure that this bio is filled out. You've got your mobile phone, office phone. If you've still got a fax, hey, cool, more power to you, your email. Your website URL, if you don't know this yet, don't worry, we're gonna to get to this at a later challenge, but if you want to uh, go into 8.0, kind of fast forward or rewind, if you will, go back to last challenge, uh, you can check out, I believe it is days 49 to 59, don't hold me to that, but it, you'll see where the agent site videos are, you can go through that and get your website URL. Uh, and then all your market center information. So brokerage name, office phone number, street address, city, state, provincial, postal code, license number for the market center. Your market center brokerage logo, if you don't have that, if this hasn't been uploaded for you, you can look it up at KW Connect. And then you've got some compliance items here. If you're not sure what goes here, you'll wanna get with your broker and find out what information needs to be listed there. And then finally, you have access to adding all of your social channels and potentially a Google Analytics tracking ID. Really important that you save any information you put in here. I've had people fill out this entire information and then all of a sudden they click on the home button or something similar. Um, and I, although I do believe it prompts you, do you wanna save this information? Just in case, always make sure you go all the way down to the bottom and click on save. So that's profile number one, our marketing profile. Again, we went into our drop down menu, we chose settings then we chose connect settings and marketing profile. 
So that's the first profile you'll want to review for accuracy and completeness. Next up, we've got our referrals profile. I'm actually going to switch screens here because our ProCoach account doesn't actually have a referrals profile. But here you can see what my profile looks like. So you've got some opportunity to make edits here. So if I click on edit profile, you can see that you can edit your first and last name. Uh, actually, I think all of these are hard coded from that last screen we just filled out. But then you've got your email, primary phone number, mobile phone number. You can add service areas and you can see that you can have several or just one or two. You can click on add new and it'll continue to add new service areas. That's helpful for people that are looking in the referral network for someone that works a particular area. Then you've got your bio. Feel free to probably just copy and paste that from the marketing profile as well as all your socials. Uh, on the referral network, you can choose whether you are shown or not. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to be shown. Uh, maybe if you're an unlicensed assistant or something along those lines. But otherwise, I would highly recommend that you are opted in. And then from there, you can see that you have the opportunity to display or hide the following five categories. So close units, listing sold, buy side sales, lease side sales, time with KW. You can click on these to turn them on or click on them to turn them off, whichever you like. Right now I'm out of production in leadership and so don't really have a lot of closed units. So I basically turn these off. Uh, but if you've got some things to brag about or share, I highly recommend you turn those on and we're gonna click on save changes and that then updates what our marketing profile looks like. Uh, you can also see this marketing profile if you go to kwconnect.com, because I've had people ask me about that background photo at the top. Just as a heads up, if you go into kwconnect.com, click on your headshot here, and then you can go to my profile. This is basically gonna get you to a similar page, but you can come down here to click on edit my profile and this is where you can update your banner image and your headshot. Okay, so for any reason you wanted to change out that banner image and headshot, again, going to kwconnect.com, click on your headshot, my profile, and then click on the edit my profile button. You can see you've got that option there. Um, moving back to command, so we have now knocked out the referrals profile. Finally, we wanna take a look at the my profile so we're going to choose my profile and when we do you're going to see several sections here on the left hand side so you've got my profile my kw and my affiliations inside the my profile page give me one second let me move this guy over here um, we have some limited information inside of this uh, screen because again this is a pro coach account doesn't quite have the same amount of information uh, but the about me section is the same if you want to make edits here you can add in your bio again language is spoken is really important i would definitely take a look at this if you speak any other language other than english there is a referrals filter inside the referrals applet which we will get to in the future and you can actually filter by language spoken so if you speak a different language or you have someone on your team your admin etc i would highly recommend you go in and edit language is spoken Service areas, you're gonna to wanna to update that. And then obviously you've got specialties, designations, your license date, your license number. Uh, finally, your phone number. Uh, from there, you're gonna to go to the uh, My KW section. This is where the screen on my page looks a little bit different than yours because it has limited information because it is a pro coach account. But you can see on the left-hand side, system information, personal information. On your screen, you most likely have beneficiary, profit share bank account, sponsor, and primary market center. You're gonna to wanna to come through and make sure all of that information is updated, um, especially when it gets to beneficiary and profit share. Profit share, if you're not familiar with that, definitely have a conversation with your leadership team. Um, it is an opportunity to have passive income come through when you're helping grow Keller Williams. And the cool thing about profit share is it gets deposited every single month on roughly the 20th, 21st of the month, and it is willable. So if you have a profit share tree and something happens to you, you do have the opportunity to will that to your beneficiary. That's why it's really important that that information is filled out. Um, so that's all of the information there. You're gonna see again, four more categories, beneficiary, profit share, sponsor, or primary market center. And then finally, my affiliations. 
that's where you would come down and you can take a look at what role you have, what your more ID is. That's not really that important, but just kind of a heads up. Um, start date, I found that this is pretty off. This is more along the lines of like license renewal and, and things like that. So um, like I started back in 2013, I just came back to this market center in October. So that's why mine says October 16th. Uh, but then you've got the ability to add in recurring deductions. This is pretty cool. I definitely would take a look at this. We've got some, um, you know, obviously pretty powerful 5013Cs in KW Cares and KW Next Gens, and then of course Bold Scholarships. I will tell you, KW Cares is on site more often, faster than anyone like FEMA or Red Cross when a disaster strikes. You never know when that's going to happen. As someone that lives in Houston and had to live through Hurricane Harvey, I can tell you KW Cares was very impactful to our market. So my recommendation, go ahead and put something in here, even if it's just $5 per transaction, $10 per transaction, $100 per transaction. You can come in and set it and forget it. And that way, every time you have a closed transaction, you're making those donations without having to think about it. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Three really important profiles. Again, we'll come back to the drop down. We had our marketing profile underneath the settings menu from command connect marketing profile, right? So connect settings and then marketing profile. We looked at our referrals profile and the my profile. Um, a couple of other things too that I didn't mention yesterday that I intended to but forgot, unfortunately. Two more resources for you. KW Answers, so answers.kw.com is an amazing resource. Think about this like a KW Tech Wikipedia, if you will. Um, how do I update my marketing profile? All right, we just went through that, but I could come in and put that in and you can see you've got all of these different articles, right, that are gonna answer whatever that question is that you have. It's a wealth of information. Paul Polanski is amazing at updating these on a very regular basis does a fantastic job there. So if you're ever in, if you're stuck, you need some more information, um, feel free to use answers.kw.com. Is there something you want command to do that it doesn't do right now? Well, that's a great opportunity to add that request to ideas.kw.com. This is where our tech team goes to kind of see what's trending, what users are looking for, what they would like to see command do. You can come in and see that there's a little code with regards to ideas. Um, I would always recommend you search for an idea before you just randomly submit one. Um, so you can come in, you can see the top ideas, hot ideas, new ideas, etc. And then you can see the status of each one of those as well. Um, finally, you do have two additional YouTube channels that I want you to be aware of. That is the KW Command channel from KWRI or Keller Williams Corporate. Um, you can see that Keller Williams has its own YouTube channel as well with a ton of great videos. Um, a lot of these are uh, agent interviews. Of course, we've got the amazing Donnie Brookman with his videos as well, kind of updating you, especially on new things that are happening and then some command walkthroughs from a couple years there. Uh, and then we've got the Keller Williams Realty YouTube channel. Would highly recommend that you subscribe to that channel as well. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day as always, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.